with another NBA Live mobile video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. We're actually hitting you guys with a double upload because we've got some new content for you guys. As you can see, we've got a Cinco de Mayo program coming to NBA Live mobile. Shout out to NBALM.com. Apparently, this is a new place that we're going to be able to get information for NBA Live mobile before things come out. So this website, along with the NBA Live Mobile subreddit, are definitely the two that I would recommend. Or you guys could just hit the subscribe button down below and turn on notifications, and that way you'll be notified as soon as we know that information is coming out about NBA Live Mobile, because that's what I'm here for. Anyways, we're going to get into it. So we've got one player at every single position for this promo. That's definitely a good sign. It's not just point guards. Earlier today, we did get a 105 Steve Nash. Big surprise, EA giving us more, more point guards. At this point, I honestly think they're just trolling us. Um, but we got a point guard and one of every other position. So, we get some new great 103 overall player cards. Collect some amazing players who, were, who wore number 5. Oh, uh, okay. So, basically, all these guys were number 5 in their careers. 5 positions, 5 archetypes, 5 different years, 5% coin boost, 5s all around. Okay, collect five point tokens by purchasing Cinco de Mayo packs in the store or off the auction house. Okay, and exchange them for Cinco de Mayo. Is there, I'm going to be really annoyed if there's, there's probably not any way to grind this. That's what it looks like, guys. Need 50 tokens in the set to claim the pack. The set lasts seven days, so I hope we also get a free pack for seven days. I would guess that's probably what we're going to be getting. Update promo lasts three days, so we can get six free packs from the store. Okay, sweet. And six chances to get a free 103 overall. That's good. Hopefully, with that many people opening the packs, there will be a good amount on the auction house. So even if you don't end up pulling him, there's a chance that you might be able to pull one out of a pack. Uh, or no, there's a chance that you might be able to buy one for relatively cheap is what I meant to say. So claim that pack every, okay, so a 7% chance at a 103 every 12 hours you can pull, probably only be able to pull, no, you'll be able to pull six. Let's see, see, so around like a 40% chance that you get a free 103 overall. That's pretty dope. And then in this one, you also get five gold plus players and one to three five point tokens number of five point tokens taken to get one of the packs is 50 so those are cash packs so if you are buying packs then you'll be able to get another one out of the set otherwise you probably won't be able to because you can only open six and you get a maximum of that would be a maximum of 18 tokens that you can get out of it i don't see any other sets um so this is not like a it's not like a grind promo this is uh this is here for cinco de mayo i'm not complaining at all because we get six different chances at getting one of these one of three overall players if you look at this jason kid just look at this column of stats right here Holy shnikes! 102, 102, 102, 102, 100, 100, 100. 100 rebounding for a point guard. That's going to be ridiculously OP. 100 speed, 103 agility. This is going to be one of the better cards in the game, I would say. Obviously, it's a point guard, and not many people need a point guard, but it's a nice card. 98 three-point shot. Like, it's not like his other shots are bad. The only bad stats are his post shot and his block, which you don't really need that much for point guard. I mean, I would like for my point guard to be able to block because that's one of the more useful stats, but I'm not complaining about my point guard being unable to. Also, a lot of people are looking to upgrade their shooting guard, so even if you don't manage to pull Victor Oladipo, you can probably buy him off the auction house. I don't love his stats. He's got good dribbling and on-ball defense, speed and agility, and inside paint shot and dunking and scoring with contact. Typically, the most valuable stats, so steel is not bad at a 98, but I'd like it to be higher. Three points not bad at a 98, but I'd like it to be higher. So these are stats that, they're decent stats, but for a 103, you would rather have those stats be higher. That being said, not every top tier card in the game is going to have the stats that you want, and that's just kind of how you got to roll with it. The Jalen Rose card is looking really nice. Wow, he has terrible block. Oh dang, that could be a that could be a card killer, honestly. Between his rebounding and his block, it could be totally not worth it to go for Jalen Rose. The thing is, small forward is the position I need the most. I think my best small forward right now is a 101. 
Um, and they actually, somebody else pointed out, they actually copied and pasted this Kevin Garnett card art. So this is the exact same Kevin Garnett that they used for a previous card. Actually, I might need a power forward as well, and he's got really good rebounding. So he's got 103 offensive and defensive rebounding. I'm actually pulling up my NBA Live mobile right now to see what I need. One, 102 post shot, 101 square with contact, 100 inside paint shot. A 95 three ball for a Kevin Durant or a Kevin Garnett card is actually really nice. So that might end up being the one that I go for. Yeah, I currently have Dirk right there. And I think that would be a pretty nice upgrade over Dirk, who is a... Actually, I should have... Oh, no, I only have... Wait, no, 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 no. Let me just hit best lineup. Okay, I've got Sean Kemp in there, but he's a 101. 103 would be a really nice upgrade right there. But it would be the same for center and for small forward as well. So it's a tough decision. It really comes down to which of the three is the best. Definitely not too impressed with the Jalen Rose, so I probably won't get that. Kevin Garnett's looking really nice. 103 block as well and 100 on-ball defense and 104 mid-range. It's going to be tough to beat. But that Bill Walton is really nice. Too. Oh, my gosh. 101 block, 101 on ball, 104 offensive rebounding, 104 defensive rebounding, 102 scoring with contact and dunking. This is literally like the perfect center. It's going to be really hard for me to not go for that Bill Walton card. Let me know which of the cards you guys like the best. I will say one of the big downsides of Bill Walton is he's not terribly tall for a center. So he and Kevin Garnett are actually the same height. It could be a pretty big advantage to have the Kevin Garnett instead. And really, the dunking is the only disadvantage that Kevin Garnett has against Bill Walton. And typically, once you get above 90 dunk rating, that additional dunk rating doesn't make a ton of a difference. So I'm probably going to be choosing between these two, but I'm not entirely sure. And like it says, you get a 5% boost to coins. Coins don't really make that much of a difference, especially what you're getting from live events and whatnot. But let me know what you guys think of the promo and also which of the players you guys are going to go for. I'm thinking choosing between Kevin Garnett and Bill Walton. I'm definitely not going to be going for Jason Kidd. All the depot stats are not terribly impressive to me, so I don't want him. And I've also got the Devin Booker. Uh, MasterCard, so I don't really need him. Jalen Rose, the rebounding and the block, and honestly, a little bit of an underwhelming steal rating too, make it so I don't really want him that much. And his dribble rating is only one better than Kevin Garnett. Having a power forward that can handle the ball that well is going to be a big advantage as well. So I'm probably going to be choosing between him and Bill Walton, but that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe to the squad if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.